Hello there, this is Just Nigeria coming up on the program. Survivors of COVID-19 in Nigeria lament stigmatization as the Nigeria Center for Disease Control warns that discrimination is limiting efforts to stop the spread of the virus. And combating coronavirus, we look at some of the safety measures you should adopt to stay safe. Also, fake COVID-19 cures. Ghanaian authorities clamp down on scammers who claim to have found a vaccine. Plus, my name is Sadiq Ajibola Williams. Check me out. Meet the multidisciplinary artist making a difference in the world of arts. Welcome to Just Nigeria from the BBC and Channels TV, where we bring you fresh perspective to stories you like, share, and tweet about on social media. I'm Ajoke Hulodze. Thanks for joining us. Now let's get right into our top story this week. Beyond social economic disruptions that the coronavirus has caused, those who have recovered from the disease are left to face another battle as they walk out of isolation centers. Cases of stigmatization have been reported globally with patients, medical professionals, and their relatives bearing the brunt. So, what effect is stigmatization having on efforts to contain the spread of the virus? Just Nigeria's Wale Fakile tells us more. The number of people who have the coronavirus has now passed the 5 million mark as the world continues to search for a vaccine. Like every other public health emergency, COVID-19 has upset the order of our lives. Health systems have buckled, borders remain closed, while schools and businesses have limited face-to-face -face interaction. As the virus has spread, so has misinformation, increasing cases of discrimination and stigma. Moto Sinolua has now returned home from an isolation centre, but she says she's been stigmatised in her community. I, I, I am a lover of kids. I, I love children around me a whole lot. And since I got back home, um, those children that I love, that, that used to be my friend, don't seem to be my friend again. Even though most of them still see me, you know, the very innocent ones still see me. And then they smile. Ordinarily, when they see me, they run to me. But now they can't run to me again because of the things their parents have told them. Given the uncertainties still surrounding the treatment of COVID-19, the line between taking precautionary measures and stigmatizing might be blurry. So, what is social stigma? The World Health Organization says social stigma in the context of health is the negative association between the person or group of people who share certain characteristics and a specific disease. It adds that in an outbreak, this may mean people are labeled, stereotyped, discriminated against, treated separately, or experience loss of status because of a perceived link with a disease. This has, however, been the fate of this family, who still don't know their COVID-19 status since their samples were collected by the NCDC. Like the day that they came to take our, our sample here, see the way they, they gathered a lot of them. It was later we now had that, uh, we are almost dying, myself, they have taken us to the hospital. So even the guy that was working for us, they had to brainwash the guy that the guy should stop coming up, that there is a COVID-19, this house, we have, we have COVID-19 uh, people. And that's enough to now, still, we miss something. That stigmatization, if there's anything government can do about it. Sadly, stigma can still occur even after a person has fully recovered from the virus and are no longer considered a risk for its spread. The stigma is so bad, it's really, really bad in this part of the world. You know, people do not want other people to know that they have the virus. And um, just because of the stigma, the way people look at them, the things people say to them and say about them, it's really, really bad. And it's something that we need to work on together because anybody can contract the virus at any time and it will not be nice to be treated the way that most of us who have the virus in this part of the world have been treated. In April, the Nigeria Center for Disease Control said stigmatization of people who have COVID-19 was stalling the fight against the virus. 
The agency says people who are worried about being discriminated against are less likely to get tested or seek medical care. The agency is now urging Nigerians to show more empathy and treat people who have recovered and health workers caring for patients as heroes. We also know that stigma is a huge problem. And that is why most of our risk communication strategy is also geared against stigma. It's not only the patients that are stigmatized, even the healthcare workers that are attending to these cases, they get stigmatized. And that's why we keep saying it. Rather than treating these people as heroes and heroines who are risking their lives for the nation, we are stigmatizing them. And mostly because of false rumors, you know, all these fake news that, are, that people are peddling. Even those that recover from the disease, people still stigmatize them. It's a sentiment shared by the National Human Rights Commission. Earlier this month, the Commission issued a guideline to end discrimination and stigma against patients and survivors of COVID-19. We have to continue sensitization and awareness creation. We have to organize town hall meetings. We have to organize radio talk shows, television talk shows, seminars and webinars so that people will understand that this issue of COVID-19 is not a death sentence. There is nothing wrong with anybody, just like anybody can be sick of malaria or sick of typhoid. That is the way somebody can be sick of uh, COVID-19. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed how we live and might continue to do so for a while. But the OR community is a duty of care, especially in our communication. Here are a few tips you could find useful. 1. Do you talk about the new coronavirus? but don't attach locations or ethnicity to the disease. 2. Do talk about people who have COVID-19, people who have been treated for COVID-19, people who are recovering from COVID-19, or people who died after contracting COVID-19. But don't refer to people with the disease as COVID-19 cases or victims. 3. You are encouraged to talk about people acquiring or contracting COVID-19 but don't talk about people transmitting COVID-19, infecting others, or spreading the virus, as it implies intentional transmission and assigns blame. Perhaps it is time for health authorities in Nigeria to pay equal attention to creating awareness against stigmatization as they do for measures to prevent the spread of the virus. If people with symptoms go into hiding, then the war against the virus might last for a very long time. Walifakile, just Nigeria.